Hey everybody, today I'm super excited because I'm going to teach you some really cool, powerful tools you can use on LinkedIn to help you search for people that are relevant for you to reach out to. So I'm going to go up here to the search field and say I am a marketing director and I'm looking to you know, move to another, uh, move to another company, right? So it doesn't matter if you're employed or not employed, a marketing director, I'm looking for a job. Now, it's possible that the person who would be hiring for this role is a VP of marketing, right? So let's just go in here and type in VP marketing. And I'm going to say I'm in the uh, entertainment industry. And I could also work in, um, oops. And I could also work in the music industry, VP of marketing in entertainment and music. So I'm gonna do a little search here. I'm gonna click on see all people results. And it's giving me about 55,000 results. But there's some really interesting people already Chief Marketing Officer at Netflix, VP of Marketing at Music Life Entertainment. Let's see about narrowing this down a little bit more. I'm in LA, so I'm going to pick Los Angeles, and then maybe I'll go ahead and pick, um, let's pick California. Now it brings it down to 13,000 results. Granted, it's still a big number, but look at all these people that you can reach out to. They're all marketing people at large companies in the entertainment and music industry. If I want to do more filters, then I could say I want someone who is a second connection with me because people are more likely to accept a connection request from someone who's interested. Maybe there's a specific company that you're interested in. Maybe it's somebody who you went to school with. I'm going to pick entertainment, music, marketing and advertising. You have language preferences, various categories. So let's look at our results now. And it's taken it down from whatever it was, 13,000 to 1,500. Much more manageable for you to now look and see if there's someone that you can reach out to. Well, you can also do this for a recruiter. So let's just back it up and type in, we want to see a recruiter. Notice I'm using uh, Boolean search techniques. That's what works really well on LinkedIn. Recruiter and entertainment industry and music and. You could say or, you could also say not as some of your um, separators between words if you don't want certain search results to show up. So let's look at recruiters. Okay, here we are. We'll click on people. We're seeing 4,500 results, but I'm going to sort it by second level connections first. Now I'm down to 1,200. I'm going to go into Los Angeles. And now I'm down to 204. Wow, what a manageable number. Because now I see people who are talent acquisition at NBC, recruiters for Walt Disney Studios, um, Amazon for digital entertainment. This is all really great stuff for you to help you really narrow down your search and find the people that you can reach out to because you know I'm super duper high on you reaching out to human beings and not depending on online applications. So here's some great opportunities for you. Now, what does it look like for a hiring manager or a recruiter who is using these kind of searches to find great candidates? So let's stay in the same industry, but now I'm a VP of marketing and I have a director of marketing role to fill. So I'm gonna type in marketing director. 
and I need someone who can work in a fast paced environment. And maybe some startup experience. And I really want them to be specialized in comedy versus drama. Let's see if how that works. Okay. Now we've put our search terms in there. Let's see our results. Click on people. Wow. Look at this. I am down to 32 people that I could reach out to. I want to narrow it down to uh, Los Angeles. Let's see if we can find somebody in the Los Angeles metro area. Four people. Isn't that amazing? Now I've got four people that I could reach out to who somewhere in their profile, not only do they have listed a marketing director role, but somewhere in their profile, they have fast pace listed. They have startup listed. They may have comedy listed. Now this is bringing it down into a really, really targeted list of people that I can proactively reach out to. This is how you show up in search. Make sure that you're sprinkling your profile with these great keywords, uh, your transferable skills, your hard skills. Uh, um, you know, I used fast paced as a transferable skill, but I could have very easily used, if I was looking for a software developer, I could have listed some of the software development tools in there. This is why you want to have those keywords sprinkled in. And I encourage you, don't make it just about where you've been in the past. Make it what you want in the future. That is so important. All right, let's take a look at this another way. Let's go to the jobs page. So say we're looking for a marketing role. Okay, that's a job. We've got lots of different jobs here. Marketing strategist, marketing coordinator, lots and lots of jobs. Now I do want to point out that it's really interesting when you see a job and you also see the person who posted the job. Guys, this is your invitation to reach out to that person. If they're revealing themselves, then you definitely want to send an email if you're premium. If you're not premium, then click on their profile and send them a connection request with a note about the role that you're interested in. But let's see if we can narrow this down a little bit more. Let's say instead of just marketing, let's call it digital marketing because that was over 536,000 jobs. So let's pick digital marketing instead. That brings it down to 90,000 jobs. Okay, that's better, but maybe it's not exactly what we want. So let's, let's use our search. So we want digital marketing and uh, communication and uh, fast paced. Now this brings this down to 41 results that include somewhere in there a digital marketing role with the words communication and fast paced as part of that job search. Because somewhere in the profile, there is listed communication and fast pace. All right, does that make sense? So now we're down to 41 results. If I wanted to get this even closer to home, let's say I go in and I look instead of United States, I look at California. Now I'm down to nine results of digital marketing roles in California that include those words, skills I know I have, my communication skills, and my ability to work in a fast-paced environment. This will help you narrow down your search to jobs that are more relevant to you. Say I want to look at it based on industry. 
So let's go back to digital marketing, entertainment, and music. So digital marketing and entertainment and music. We were looking at that before. Now I'm down to 164 results with a wide variety of roles. Now this is still 24 results and the, the, the experience level is a little bit all over the place. So you can go up here and you can play around with your experience level. Let's go mid senior and say director level. I've got 50 results that match those levels. This is picking up on settings that the job poster has used as well as those keywords. So we're at 50. Let's say we go digital marketing and we say fast, oops, fast paced. And see if we get anything different. Okay, now that eliminated anything because apparently none of those job postings had the word fast paced in it. But what if we say, and communication? Okay, so we're at 44. You see how this works where you can play around with it. You can add in additional filters that all have here. You can see all filters but maybe you're, maybe you're interested in remote only. That'll bring it down to two roles that are remote only. I can take that out. I can, uh, and that will give you more um, relevant results in your search. I hope this has shown you that LinkedIn is actually a very powerful search engine. It can help you in numerous ways. Don't be afraid to use it. Don't be afraid to get in there and try things and see what comes up for you. I even love the job search piece for roles that maybe you're not sure of. Maybe you're just thinking of something different. Try putting in some search terms, particularly around your skills and ignore the job titles put in some skills that you know you have and see what kind of jobs come up for you. You might get some ideas. All right, I hope this helps. Stay in touch. Feel free to message me if you have any questions at all or you need any help because I have lots of resources and I love to help y'all. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.